Hey everyone, this is DI Apple Reviewer and today I'm here to show you a walkthrough of the brand new jailbreak, the Lime Rain jailbreak that has just been released. Now with this jailbreak, you're going to be able to jailbreak your iPhone 4, your iPod Touch 4G, as well as your iPhone 3GS. Now what I'm going to be using uh, for this demonstration is my iPod Touch 4th generation, which is right over here. And as you can see, my iPod Touch 4th generation is in fact running version 4.1. Now what you're going to be needing for this jailbreak is very simple. The first thing is obviously you're going to have to download the Lime Rain jailbreak. To download the Lime Rain jailbreak, simply go ahead and go onto their website, www.limerain.com. I'm going to put it down below in the description. And once you reach their website, scroll all the way at the bottom and it says download for Windows. Now this is the second beta that has just been released. And if you go through the list of the known bugs, you can see that for now on the iPhone 3GS, you won't be able to jailbreak it since there's a little problem. But this is obviously going to be fixed shortly enough. You're also, as I see right now, you're going to be able to also jailbreak your iPad on 4.0 or 4.1. So that is all you're going to be needing. You're obviously going to be needing as well your device and you're going to be needing your sync. So once you have everything, you are ready to start. The first thing that you're going to be doing is simply putting the sync cable into your iPod. Just like that. And then you're going to be putting the other end in your computer in an available slot. So basically what you're doing is syncing it up to iTunes. Now if iTunes pops up, just close it and then once it is officially synced, you hear that you heard that little sound, you are ready to go. So I'm just going to close off my iTunes. Okay, so then you go ahead and shut off iTunes. You're going to go ahead and open Lime Rain. Click on run and you're with this little window right here. All it says is make it rain. Go ahead and click it. It says waiting for device. It's going to enter the recovery mode. And as you can see right here on the screen, all the action is going to happen right over here. So we're going to wait. Right now it says hold home plus power button. So we're, what we're going to be doing is putting it in DFU mode. So simply hold the home and power button until it says so to release the home, uh, the power, sorry, button. So it says release the power mm -hmm. button. That's what we're doing right now. And now it says it's in DFU mode so we can let go. And it's basically going to be doing the rest. So as you can see, there's a pop-up. It says your jailbreak is done. Turn it on when done. And this is an untethered jailbreak. So it says it's done. Now we di redirect ourselves to our iPod. So as you can see, it did shut off. We're going to go ahead and reboot it. So what I'm doing is I'm keeping it synced and it's sort of important to keep it sync. But what is good about the jailbreak is that you don't really lose anything because you're not restoring to a new firmware. So as you can see, we're going to go ahead and open that up. And you can see that we have Lime Rain right over here. Just gonna go ahead and click on Lime Rain. And it says, please select package. So we're going to go ahead and click on Cydia and click install. It's going to do its thing. It's going to install Cydia. And then it's really important to reboot your device when that's completed. Or else sometimes Cydia doesn't appear. So we're going to have to just reboot it. So we're going to go ahead and shut that off and wait till it powers on. Once again, we're going to power it back on.
and we're gonna go ahead and slide to unlock and there you have it you have Cydia right here you open it up it's going to go ahead and do its thing and it asks you who are you basically you just answer the questions they're gonna ask you and there you go Cydia running on your iPod touch fourth generation so that's all I have for you guys for today. I, uh, if you want to go ahead and check out my Twitter, it's going to be down below in the description. I'd like to thank uh, everyone and I hope you've enjoyed and I will see you guys later.